Every horseman has a hero, that storied predecessor whose very character personified honor, dignity, and superior horsemanship. For some, that hero horseman might be John Wayne or Bonanza's Little Joe, but for many folks in attendance tonight, their hero is about to be inducted into the American Paint Horse Association Hall of Fame. If the old saying holds true, cowboys are allotted one good horse in their lifetime. For most of tonight's inductees, the first class of the APHA Hall of Fame, that one good horse was an American paint horse. In celebration of its 50th anniversary, APHA set out to honor the breed's most influential horses and horsemen. But with such a colorful history, so many milestones, and priceless contributors, choosing just 25 horses and 25 horsemen was an arduous task. A five-member Hall of Fame selection committee was charged with developing the induction criteria, reviewing the association's long list of history makers, and narrowing the field of candidates down to 50 inaugural inductees. To honor their dedication to the American Paint Horse Association, Tonight's Hall of Fame inductees will receive an irreplaceable bronze award created by renowned equine sculptress Marita Black of Gainesville, Texas. The beauty and dynamic coat color patterns of the paint horse come to life in these stunning Hall of Fame bronzes, as priceless to their recipients as the inductees are to the history and future of the American paint horse. These pioneering people have been friends, supporters, and champions of APHA since the association's earliest days. Credited with organizing the American Paint Stock Horse Association, Rebecca Tyler Lockhart of Gainesville, Texas is a visionary, an inspiring and driving force for paint horses from the get-go. A professional calf roper and Rodeo Cowboy Association member, Junior Robertson of Warica, Oklahoma, was one of the paint industry's first noteworthy breeders and was among the original 16 signers of the APSHA charter. Ralph and Dorothy Russell of McKinney, Texas, brought horse training know-how and breeding expertise to the APSHA in the early 1960s leaving a legacy of professional horsemanship and dedication to this family-friendly breed. Hailing from Van Alstein, Texas, L.N. Sykes was also among the APSHA charter members, contributing his stock horse cutting and training knowledge to the fledgling association. A much beloved couple in the paint horse world, Sam Ed and Margie Spence of Southlake, Texas, gave generously to the association. Margie was an equine photographer, and Sam Ed as APHA executive secretary and founder of the Paint Horse Journal. From Era, Texas, Junior Hudspeth acquired his first paint horse, Pretty Badger, in 1960. One of the original 16 members of APSHA, Junior's wise horse decisions furthered the careers of horses like Samoan Joe, Black Joe, and Cimarron Badger. Lightning fast speed and good looks to boot, these racehorses and track horsemen blazed onto the APHA scene in a big way, leaving lasting impressions on all who knew them. A 1944 Bay Tobiano mare by Painted Joe and out of a thoroughbred mare, Babette, earned more money in 15 American Quarter Racing Association sanctioned races before establishing herself as a powerful matriarch of the paint horse breed. Neosho, Missouri resident Paul Harbor bought the mare in 1965, entering a world in which he'd make irreplaceable contributions. An APHA director and vice president, the late horseman was the 1984 recipient of the APHA Distinguished Service Award. A 1960 Sorrel Overo mare by Quarter Horse Stallion Slow Motion and Out of Dangerous Girl, Crystal Eye was bred by Armando Canales of Premont, Texas. Match raced throughout South Texas, Crystal Eye went on to make significant contributions as a broodmare for the late Alfonso Gonzalez of Alice, Texas. 
a fifth generation Texan and lifelong racehorse man, Alfonso won three of the first four APHA National Championship Futurity races. By Rondo Joe and out of an Owen Lay owned paint mare, Painted Joe dazzled on the track before souring the paint industry's first family of speedsters. The 1939 Black Tobiano Stallion, known for defeating several quarter horse greats in Southern Arizona match races, was posthumously awarded APHA registration number 50,000. An early racing superstar, Powder Charge, was the first paint to receive a triple A race rating. The 1965 Chestnut Tobiano Stallion, bred by Paul and Carolyn Crabb of Wichita, Kansas, was by the thoroughbred Mr. Harrison and out of Sky Bar. Powder Charge won eight straight Futurities and Derbies and was purchased by Bud and Betty Crump of Winniewood, Oklahoma. Dedicated to making champion running paint horses, the Crumps established a top-notch breeding program, which Betty continued until 1978 following Bud's passing earlier that year. With color, talent, confirmation, and ability, these powerful paint horse sires made significant contributions to their get. Expertly managed by legendary horsemen, the following inductees demonstrated a winning strategy to produce superior paints. With a memorable name and a noted breeder, APHA founder Rebecca Tyler Lockhart, Handkerchief was a 1969 Bay Tobiano Stallion by Skip's Lad and out of Cherokee Maiden. A homozygous Tobiano, Chief sired 472 foals, all Tobianos or Toveros, who earned 2,050 halter points and 5,108 performance points. APHA registration number 800 went to Painted Robin, the 1960 Sorrel Overo product of Quarter Horses Robin Boy and Midwest Snuffy. Bred by Bob Moore of Midwest Wyoming, Painted Robin was the 1971 and 1973 National Get of Sire champion and sired the likes of My Painted Robin, Versary Bars, and Painted Robin Jr. Two extraordinary horsemen managed Painted Robin. The late A.J. Jack Campbell of J. Oklahoma was a competitive calf roper, World War II horse and mule wrangler, noted auctioneer, early day APHA director and inspector, and the 1992 APHA Distinguished Service Award recipient. Hailing from Wadena, Iowa, the late W.L. Lowell Miller's contributions included a proven paint breeding operation serving as APHA director, inspector, and judge, and the 1970 APHA president. A 1959 Sorrel Tubiano Stallion by quarter horse Skipper's Lad and out of Sky High, Skip High took APHA registration number eight and was a Wheeze Camp herd sire for seven years before being purchased by Lynn Henry of Montgomery Creek, California in 1970. Alamosa, Colorado horseman H.J. Hank Wieskamp was the man behind a dominant paint breeding program that produced the likes of Skip a Streak, Skip a Rope, and Skip's Lad. The late horseman occupied the number one position on seven of APHA's 11 leading sires, dams, and breeders lists by 1974. These powerful producers had an abundance of cow sense and class. The first mare registered in the APSHA was Calamity Jane, a 1949 black Tobiano mare of unknown lineage, bred by Ira Riley of Snyder, Texas. A legend in National Cutting Horse Association competition, Jane made the NCHA top 10 list twice, earning $24,591 in her memorable career. The 1973 NCHA Reserve World Champion Cutting Horse and Champion Cutting Mare, Delta, also won the NCHA World Open Finals in 1974. As dominant in the broodmare band as she was in the cutting pin, the NCHA Hall of Fame Mare was by the quarter horse stallion Lemon Squeezer and out of Mildred. 
bred by W.S. McCown Jr. of Jackson, Louisiana. The 1963 black Tobiano mare was last owned by Floyd Moore of Huntsville, Texas. By a quarter horse stallion named Uvalde Kine and out of an unknown paint mare, Uvalde Dahl, a 1960 Sorrel Tobiano mare, was the 1965 and 1967 APHA National Champion Cutting Horse under the guidance of L.N. Sykes. Uvalde Dahl was purchased in 1969 by Billy Wesson of Waxahachie, Texas. These talented performers and the horsemen who owned, trained, and showed them had no trouble showcasing the versatility, trainability, and outstanding talent of the American paint horse. A 1962 Brown Overo Stallion by the quarter horse Rangers Blue and out of a Miller 67 mare, Adios Amigos was bred by R.L. Miller of Big Piney, Wyoming, an APHA champion Adios Amigos was the 1964 national champion two-year-old stallion, the 1965 reserve national champion three-year-old stallion, and the 1966 national champion junior reigning horse. Dual Image was a 1961 Sorrel Overo stallion by quarter horse stallion Slow Motion and Out of Dangerous Girl and was bred by Armando Canales. The winner of the 1965 South Texas Paint Racing Championship, Image, was the 1966 Reserve National Champion Aged Stallion and 1971 National Champion Bridal Path Hack winner. A 1961 Sorrel Overo Stallion by Quarter Horse Stallion Jemina Ponfly II and out of many, Mr. J Bar excelled as a show horse. The 1965 National Champion Aged Stallion and Calf Roping Horse and the 1966 and 1967 National Get of Sire Champion, Mr. J Bar was expertly guided by Junior Robertson. With a single moniker, a 1961 Red Roan Overo mare named Nylon carried powerful presence in the show ring. The product of Quarter Horse's Roan Bar and Bar's Cherry Nylon was bred by Riley Miller of Fluvona, Texas and was the 1965 national champion aged mare. Bred by George McGinley of Keystone, Nebraska, the Quarter Horses Breeze Bar and Anderson Blonde produced Painted Breeze Bar, a 1962 Palomino Overo Stallion. While owned by Jack Campbell, Breeze Bar was an accomplished halter horse in the Rocky Mountains before siring top performers like B. Bar Badger, Tonto Breeze, and APHA Supreme Champion Tough Breeze. A champion and sire of champions, Q. Ton Eagle, was a 1960 Sorrel Tobiano Stallion by Quarter Horse Stallion Freno and out of Q. Ton Dixie Alpha, bred by Quentin Foster of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Eagle's honors included the 1964 and 1966 National Champion Aged Stallion and 1966 National Champion Senior Reigning Horse. Eagle was best associated with J.D. Hooter of LeCount, Louisiana. An industry leader, J.D. served as APHA president in 1964. Bred by H.W. Harbor of Ringling, Oklahoma, Cherokee Maiden was a 1960 Bay Tobiano mare by Osage Dan and out of Maggie, a dominant force in the halter and western pleasure arenas while owned by Rebecca Tyler Lockhart, Cherokee Maiden was the APSHA High Point Senior Halter Mare and Reserve High Point Horse. Registration number 31 went to a 1957 Sorrel Overo gilding named Wahoo King by quarter horse stallion Alini King and out of Pocahontas, Wahoo King was bred by Please McGee of Bromide, Oklahoma and sold to Junior Robertson as a two-year-old. A winning calf roping horse and champion APSHA halter horse, Wahoo King was immortalized as a briar horse in 1998. A 1963 Sorrel Overo stallion named Painted Lassen took APHA registration number 2300. Bred by M.A. Calhoun of Atoka, Oklahoma, and the product of Quarter Horses Calhoun's Lassen and Maggie's Van, 
Painted Lassen became APHA's second champion, competing in halter, western pleasure, cutting, pole bending, and barrel racing, while under the guidance of Ralph and Dorothy Russell. Robin Gregg of Deming, New Mexico, bred the stallion Jojo to an unknown mare to produce a 1962 Sorrel Overo stallion named Sabru Indio. The 1965 National Championship three-year-old stallion and Western Pleasure horse Sabru Indio was well represented by his top performing get. One of Sabru Indio's owners, Joanne Soso Barnett of Delta, Colorado, was already an accomplished exhibitor by the time she purchased the stallion. One of the West Coast's biggest supporters of the breed, Joanne's contributions were widespread. Bred, owned, and shown by Sandy Messler of Colorado Springs, Colorado, Skip a Rope earned an APHA championship in 1973 before proving himself as a color-producing sire. By Skip High and out of Baby Doll McHugh, Skip a Rope was a 1968 Sarl Tobiano Stallion. Another Skip High sired horse joins this collection of show ring superstars. Skip a Streak, a 1964 Sorrel Overo Stallion, was out of Cheyenne Lil and was bred by Larry Wieskamp of Alamosa, Colorado. The 1966 Reserve National Champion two-year-old stallion and the 1967 Reserve National Champion three-year-old stallion Skip a Streak also earned honors as the 1968 National Champion Junior Western Pleasure Horse and the 1969 National Champion Senior Western Pleasure Horse. A 1966 Sorrel Overall Stallion, Snip Bar, was bred by Luther Bolton of Lyons, Kansas. The product of Quarter Horses Bar Cliff and Miss Kelly 27. Snip Bar was the 1967 National Champion Yearling Stallion and the first APHA Supreme Champion. An early player in Snip Bar's career, Claude Howard was an important source of momentum in the paint horse industry. Known for his keen eye for selecting quality stock, the Sedgwick, Kansas Horseman was honored with APHA's Distinguished Service Award in 2003. Dr. Lyle, Doc, and Butch Wonderlick of Idaho Falls, Idaho, played key roles in the development of APHA. In 1965, the couple purchased Tinky's Spook, a 1965 Bay Tobiano Stallion by the quarter horse Tinky Joe and out of Calico Hancock. Bred by Blaine Hill of Tremonton, Utah, Spook earned an APHA championship in 1970. The Wonderlick's dedication to paints extended beyond Spook. Doc was the 1989 Distinguished Service Award winner, and Butch served as APHA president in 1981, becoming the first woman to lead a major equine registry. By the Quarter Horse Stallion T-Track Scooter and out of Lady Yellow Jacket, a 1964 Red Dunn Overo Stallion named Yellow Mount would become APHA's first champion and second supreme champion. Bred by Bill Hitson of Santa Rosa, New Mexico, Yellowmount was the 1966 national champion two-year-old stallion and reserve champion junior western pleasure horse. Shortly after that successful show, Yellowmount sold to Stanley and Jody Williamson of Iowa Park, Texas. A noted dairyman, farmer, and rancher, Stanley entered the paint horse business in 1962. The couple's service to the breed is warmly appreciated. Jody was an active leader and committee member and Stanley served as an APHA director and the 1971 president. Revered for their horsemanship and business smarts, these horsemen and women made names for themselves with paint horses. Fred and Marion Adam of Wilcox, Nebraska have been dedicated to the association since the early 1960s as breeders, owners, and pioneer members of the High Plains and Nebraska Paint Horse Clubs, Fred and Marion assumed numerous leadership roles. Marion as a national director, Fred as a director, and the 1983 APHA president. A dairy farming couple from Monroe, Wisconsin, Ralph and Barbara Bruner, made a splash in the paint horse world with their 1966 purchase of Jay Barr Jr. Instrumental in the Wisconsin State Paint Horse Club, 
Ralph and Barbara's dedication to the breed reached far beyond the Midwest. With the purchase of Miss Baldy Badger in 1965, Bernard Punk Hoban of Pen Yan, New York, was officially in the paint business. A driving force in the formation of the Empire State Paint Horse Club, the late horseman owned the likes of J. Bar Flash and Sir Don Juan and served several years on the APHA Executive Committee. When Bill James of Abilene, Kansas showed three horses at the first APSHA National Show, he embarked on a path that led to multiple national titles, APHA Supreme Champions, and a host of quality horses, including Snip Bar, Skipetta, Rapid Ranger, Bowl Chick, Versary Bar, and Sprocket. Another Kansas horseman, Dale Lukens of Medicine Lodge, was a major catalyst in the early days of APSHA. With a knack for breeding quality horses, the Lukens Paint Horse Program flourished. The late horseman passed his expertise to his daughter Kay, who earned two national APHA titles with Lukens stock. As local, state, and national directors, the late Buster and Marion Nagley of Davis, California were beloved for their drive to organize paint events. The owners of horses like versatility champion Coco Mingo, Buster was the 1986 APHA Distinguished Service Award winner and received a proclamation of appreciation for his service in 1988. Fellow Californian Bill Neal's first paint was the homebred Kickapoo Kitten, an APHA champion and the 1973 National Champion Youth Breakaway Roping Horse with Bill's son Tom. An early officer in the California Paint Horse Club, Bill also served as a national director and on the executive committee for several years. In 1966, Jay and Nancy Simons of Weston, Florida, entered the paint horse business with the purchase of APHA champion J. Barr Desperado. Horse show parents, breeders, and enthusiastic supporters, Jay and Nancy owned horses like Billy Joe Dunn, Black Eyed Sue, C Notes Rosalita, and the great sire, Jet Alito. Jay served as the 1978 APHA president. While some horses and horsemen come and go, forgotten in time, these 50 inductees to the American Paint Horse Association Hall of Fame will be forever immortalized. Their pioneering spirit, countless contributions, and betterment of the breed could never be overlooked. It is with joy and pride that we honor the inaugural class of the Hall of Fame. On behalf of APHA, Thank you, and congratulations.